Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading. Uh, this is gonna be for Libra. Uh, while they come back, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for uh, January 2022, we're gonna take a look at the person that's currently on your mind, see what their overall energies are like, their true feelings and intentions are, uh, towards you, and then we'll take uh, a look to see if this person will come back. Uh, feel free to apply this to your own unique situation. Um, even though this is love focused, this could be with anybody. Uh, switch the rules if you want. Uh, keep in mind that this is just a general reading, so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Um, if this message didn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. Um, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. And leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. And for those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, um, Libra. Tell me about the person that is on Libra's mind. What is this person's current overall energies like? What are their true feelings and intentions towards Libra? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus is for January 2022. Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Okay, we have the King of Swords and the Emperor. So, could it be dealing with another Libra here? Aquarius, Gemini, Aries. We have the Five of Wands and the Ace of Cups in the reverse. And then we have the Eight of Wands and Temperance. You know, I feel like this person's spiritually ascending here. I mean, this person... Um, you know, I feel like they're resisting their love for you. I do. I feel like this person's fighting it. This person's fighting it. I feel like they're working on themselves here too. I feel like they're focusing on their work right now. Whatever this is, I feel like this person is just focusing on their victory and their success regarding their work. Okay? I do feel like this person might be in their head a lot. I do feel like there's a lot of internal struggle with this individual here. So, um, you know, like I said, this could be, this could be you, Libra, or this could be someone else. I do feel like this person is really trying to control their emotions. This person could have, uh, could have been very controlling towards you. You know, I feel like maybe this person wasn't really completely honest about how they felt about you, but it seems like this person loves you, but I feel like this person doesn't want you. You could have fallen out of love with this person because of that. So let's see what else we have here. All right. Tell me about the King of Swords. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius here with Temperance. With the Star, Aquarius energy. Could be dealing with Aquarius. You might have Aquarius in your chart also. Seems like this person is doing some sort of self-work on themselves. The Emperor. We have, yeah, this person's definitely going through a huge, huge spiritual transformation. I mean, this could be you that's going through this. Like I said, you can switch the roles if you want, uh, uh, Libra. Um, five of Wands. Five of Wands and the Sun in the reverse. You know, I feel like this person could have gone through um, or has a history of, um, you know, going through like a huge depression or something like that or just not being happy. We have someone here that's going through a major, major spiritual transformation. I mean, this person could be, um, you know, ascending from a king to an emperor. Ace of Cups in the reverse. This person perhaps is trying to find happiness, trying to find self-love for themselves here. Well, you have the world in the reverse. Whoever this person is, this person has unfinished business or that this person is refusing to let you go. Or that they are refusing that, or they're not accepting that perhaps you no longer love them anymore. Uh, Eight of Wands. 
whoever this person is, this person de definitely has trouble letting things go. I mean, I feel like this person is really trying to, uh, trying to, uh, um, you know, is having a hard time uh, closing out the cycle. Perhaps that's why this person is doing all the self work on themselves, trying to accept this change gracefully, basically. Eight of Wands. We have a Queen of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Okay. You know, I feel like this is you here. You're moving on. You're healing. Okay. You're focusing on yourself. You could have children with this individual here. Or that there could be a separation while you are pregnant with this individual. Or that you were. Temperance. Ace of Wands. We have the King of Pentacles here. We have the King to the Queen of Pentacles, by the way. This is a true pair. I do feel like this person's incredibly hurt. And I feel like, like I said, um, you know, th the same does hold true that hurt people hurt other people. And I feel like this is what happened. Okay. You know, this Queen of Pentacles, which I feel is you, you're you're currently really focusing on yourself. But I feel like you are opening opened to having a new beginning with this person. That's if they really um stay consistent with their healing work here. I do feel like you're in communication with this person. You know why? Because I feel like you guys share a child together. Um, but that that's not gonna resonate with all you guys. So just take it as it resonates, okay? What else do we have for um Hold on, this is, tell me what, uh, what, what else do we have for Leah right here regarding um, the person that's currently on your mind? Uh, will this person approach uh, Libra? Will this person approach Libra? I do feel like you guys are living separately, but I feel like you guys, if you guys, in fact, do have a kid together, that's the only thing that you guys are com communicating about. Perhaps you're getting bits and snippets about this person's, uh, uh, um, uh, you know, healing work here. Will this person that is on uh, Libra's mind come forward, come back towards Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for January 2022? All right, let's see what we have here, Libra. The Sun in the reverse, Judgment in the reverse, the Fool. Oh, I'll take these. Okay. So we have the sun in the reverse again. We have judgment in the reverse again. No, we only have judgment once. I'm sorry. Uh, so Leo energy, Sagittarius energy, Scorpio energy. We have the full Aries energy. Could also be Aquarius too. We have the eight of cups. We have the nine of swords. And then we have the Temperance card again. Will this person come back towards you? I don't think this person is going to come back towards you. Not yet, anyway. I do feel like this person is realizing that they have a lot of work to do. Yeah. This person has a lot of work to do. I do feel like this person has, has maybe self-worth issues, confidence issues. Because I do feel like it stems from this person's pain. I do feel like it stems from this person's pain. I feel like this person still has to leave all that stuff behind. But I feel like this person is really having a hard time doing that. Tell me about the sun in the reverse. Alright, we have the three of cups. This person wants it. They're not ready. Yeah, this person's not ready. Judgment in the reverse. The King of Pentacles. Yeah, this person does not want to come together yet. I feel like it's important for this person to really work on themselves before they come back. So they can come back correctly. The Fool. Seems like this person's raising their consciousness too. Seems like this person's really aware. We have the Moon here. This person's doing shadow work on themselves. You know, I feel like this person doesn't want to live their life, um, you know, as an illusion. I feel like this person wants to be honest with themselves. You know, there could be, um, there could be this energy of this person being, you know, really disingenuous in the past. 
you know, I feel like this person made up a lot of stuff, you know, created these crazy narratives. Uh, everything was a fantasy here. Um, this person has a lot of fears, maybe. Eight of Cups. The King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay. What? So this person can be a bit all over the place. There's a lack of consistency with this person, maybe. This person could be wearing different, different masks to please other people, so this person doesn't rock the boat. All right, Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords in the Chariot. Cancer energy could be dealing with a Cancer here. Temperance. So Aries Leo Sag with that King of Wands. Strong Sagittarius energy could be dealing with the Sagittarius here. I do feel like there's this energy of feeling hopeful that this could come back together again. But just not right now. You know, the King of Swords. Yeah, right now this person is just really focusing. I mean, I, I you know, maybe, you know, you moved on because, you know, you maybe you offered this person another chance, but this person kind of pushed it away. Um, but it seems like this person's definitely working on themselves. I don't feel like this person's ready to come back. All right, what other messages do we have for um, Libra regarding the person that's currently on their mind? We're going to pull some Oracle and then we'll finish finish that off there. You know, there is a lot of chemistry between you two. It's just a lack of balance here regarding, you know, your vibrations and your consciousness. Soulmate, your soulmate loves and, yeah. So I feel like whatever this is, I feel like you've accepted this person for who they are and the journey that they're on. And perhaps this person is doing the same for you, okay? And so this is definitely some sort of soulmate connection that you have with this person. What else do we have? Yeah, because we have we have the pairs. We have the pairs. What else do we have for Libra regarding their uh, person that's currently on their mind? Okay, I'll take these three. Um, so we have shadow work. The relationship will trigger you to express your shadow side. There's much you can learn. So I feel like that's what's happening here. On guard. Guard will be up in this relationship. It's okay to be cautious and take it slow, but make an effort to trust a little more. So perhaps there was a lack of trust here. That could be the arguments that you guys were having here. Soulmate. Your soulmate will come into your life to challenge you and help you grow, but it will be undeniable. It will be an undeniable connection. So I feel like both of you had something to learn from each other here. Okay, and I feel like we have your person is going to continue to do their shadow work. Okay, because that is a re really important part of your spiritual and personal growth here. Good on paper, you good on, good on paper. You uh, you'll date someone because you should, but the um factor is missing. Yeah, it could you know it could have been a thing where maybe you guys got together just for the convenience or something like that. Um, you know, it could just be on one person's part, uh, but you could apply this to your own unique situation. Let's see what else we have here. What other messages do we have for Libra regarding the person that's currently on their mind? Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that you, it comes to you now. You, you see, I feel like you guys sort of mirrored each other in a way, healing family issues. So I don't know if you guys have some heal, some healing that you guys have to do regarding your family issues in, in the past here. Okay? Let's see what else we have here. Improving health. So this is telling me that the, that the connection between you and your person, uh, it will improve uh, in the future as the healing work between just for yourself and this person continues. So I feel like you guys are on two separate paths here, okay? So Libra, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.